It takes an incredible person to bring us all together in the person of Dr. Hak Jahan Moon to bring us all together. And to her indubitable staff, to her great staff, to the people who have put all this together, we just say thank you to, to all of those who put this marvelous meeting of all of us together. It is just an incredible, precise kind of an administration that can do this. We're all here. Uh, we all here because we share something in common. And, and that's why we're here. Because we somehow have looked at the bigger picture and we under th understand things on a larger scale. I want to point out, as I open, that no one of us has it all. And, and what God has done is, since no one of us has it all, he has fixed it so that each one of us have an idiosyncratic concept of who he is. When I say that, I, I might stretch you a little bit, but all of us have structure because we're Bible believers or all of us have structure because we believe in at least one of the five greatest religions or the most popular religion in the world and should be represented here today. But because no one of us has it all, our conceptualization of God is idiosyncratic and nobody can duplicate or imitate your concept of God. Nobody's thinking in your mind about God but you. I don't want to press you too far, but when it comes from the very structural conceptualization the structure that we have, it is critical to understand that each one of us creates God. I told you I didn't want to stretch you, but maybe I'm pushing you too far. <laughs> it is your thoughts of God who makes God your God. And nobody can duplicate or imitate, so that's why we have to share. Because if I don't have it all, and you don't have it all, then you have a piece of the puzzle I need to put together the whole conceptualization of who God is. In other words, everybody's got a piece to give to the conceptualization that all of us need to have about the God we serve. It would seem to me that if we would listen to each other with the objectivity of joining each other, because there are certain things that are common to all of us here that are significantly important for the welfare and the furtherance of our nation and our world. And since we are the anointed ones and the Holy Spirit is the single greatest unifier in the world. Nobody unifies like the Holy Spirit. If there's going to be unity, there's got to be humility. Which means we have to forget building our little empires and consider building the kingdom. Because we have become so strong as independents that we fail to realize we're not out there by ourselves we owe it to everybody to unify so we can make some serious changes in the world. We are the anointed ones. 
That means if we can forget our little empires and put our strengths together, we can turn this world upside down. for there to be unity, there's got to be humility. But in order for you to have humility, you've got to have love. Love is the substratum of humility, which becomes the strength for unity. And who should love like we should love? Because the God we serve is love. Everybody in here who operates in calling of God, all of us interpret our calling. And I want to talk to, to, to those who have heard a lot of things about what we do here. Every individual in here interprets their call. If you study Moses carefully and you study uh, Isaiah, Ezekiel, all of them had to have an interpretation of their calling in relationship to God. They had to interpret their call. And that is, I'm called of God, but I have to get into this call to see how I view myself in light of God in an idiosyncratic and a very peculiar way, I have to decide what I'm going to call myself. Now, mother's interpretation of her calling is not within what we call the norm. Mother's interpretation of her calling is that she is the only begotten daughter. That's her interpretation of her calling. But you don't judge a tree by its branches. And you don't judge a tree by its leaves. You judge a tree by its fruit. And there's nobody in here that can deny the significance of the fruit that we have seen exhibited by her response to her calling. I don't care what you call yourself, I just care what you do. And she's brought all of us together to tell the world that we can get together, we can have peace, and we can overcome the difficulties in the world because we're anointed to do it. God bless you.